Hello, my name is Vic and welcome to this episode of The Armourer's Bench. I'm taking a five minute break out of doing some work to come and show you uh, one of my all time favourite belt fed 5.56 machine guns, the Set Me Amelie. Uh, we've got an example here um, which has got some accessories which you don't normally see. The Amelie was developed as a belt-fed squad automatic weapon for the Spanish military and it was sold across the world to Mexico. That's one of the major users and I believe Malaysia also uses it. Um, this example, as we can see, is a factory cutaway. This was a, a, an example that came from the factory in Santa Barbara um, before it closed. It's a, a cutaway to show the working parts and we'll see that in close up in a moment. Um, but we've got some rather rare accessories for it. For instance, something that really hasn't been seen um, outside of uh, uh, one or two little photographs that I've seen, which is a box magazine adapter for the gun. Now this replaces the um, feed cover on the gun and the feed tray and it allows you to use uh, Set Me Model L magazines or Stanag, NATO Stanag magazines in a top fed Bren type mount and interestingly the top cover comes with a, a new rear sight which is offset to the right which you would think that seems strange in any other um, top box magazine fed system the sights are offset to the left but this is on the right and we'll see this in close up when I, uh, when I fit it. Also we've got here is a hundred round belt disposable uh, magazine. These would be fitted on the carrier on the side of the gun and also what looks like a uh, MG42, MG34 um, belt feed drum as well which I believe wasn't used too much in service. The disposable ones would have been used more often but this was developed for the gun. Let's see it in close-up. Okay, we can see here the markings on the side which says Amelie 5.56, the Santa Barbara crest from the factory and set me. The trigger group as you can see is almost identical to the MG42 or MG3. The uh, gun itself you would think is a shrunken version of the MG42 but the action itself is more like the Setme Model L in that it's roller locked with a fixed barrel. Although the barrel is removable, it's a quick change barrel which is uh, rather clever in its uh, execution. The barrel doesn't recoil, it's not a fully locked system like the MG42, it's, it's always nearly locked the same as a, a G3 or an HK33 or the Setme L and the Setme C and the B. Um, but it's executed in a, in a rather good way. If we look at the top of the, uh, of the action here, you can see this being cut away. The feed system is a shrunken version of the MG42. Why reinvent the wheel? If we open the feed cover, it looks almost the same. It's a double wound spring uh, for the action. The cocking handle is here on the uh, on the right hand side of the gun. We lock it back. But when we look at the bolt, the bolt isn't uh, a rotating locking bolt like the MG42 or the MG34. Uh, it's a fixed head bolt with rollers on, the same as the uh, HK, G3 and Setme L. There was some uh, speculation that the bolt and some of the other parts were interchangeable with the Setme Model L but that's not correct. Let the action go forward. You see the feed tray here lifts up. The rear sight is a rotating disc which is marked for range. Uh, to remove the barrel you will rear it on the barrel release, turn it clockwise and then forward. And back out 
as we can see there is a, a, a ball bearing surface at the front that is spherical to allow it to be rotated and pulled out of the gun two locking pieces at the rear as you can see this one's a cut away and the um, muzzle and bearing is pinned onto is pinned onto a plain barrel it's a fluted chamber as is everything that is delayed roller locked put it back in close hatch and that was it very quick change barrel system on this gun now let's see this rather clever adapter it's uh, machined it's quite heavy it has an ejector built in and you replace the top cover pushing this pin out lift out the feed tray put this pin in like so there we are adapted for magazine use we'll do a close-up round here on this okay before we look at the Amelie in close-up let's just give you some information on this miniature MG 42 look-alike and dispel some myths and discover some truths about what could be said to be the cutest looking machine gun out there the Amelie abbreviated from the Spanish a metralladora leggera or light machine gun is a 5.56 mm belt fed light machine gun designed for the Spanish army by the nationally owned and operated Centro de Estudios Técnicos de Materiales Especial SETMI this was a small arms research institute founded by the Spanish government in or around about 1950 development of the Amelie began in 1974 under the supervision of Colonel José María Jiménez Alfaro, who would later become the director of SETMI. The Amelie was officially unveiled in 1981, and after undergoing exhaustive military trials, was adopted into service in 1982. It was adopted as the standard squad-level support weapon of the Spanish Army under the designation MG82, the year of adoption. It did not replace, but it was used in conjunction with the Spanish licensed built MG4259, or what we would term as the MG3, the 7.62 variant of the old MG42 machine gun, which still gives sterling service in a lot of armies. The initial model was the NA variant, or standard model. This is the model that closely resembles the MG42 with its conical flash hider. The Spanish military, however, wanted a lighter gun, and the NB variant was designed. This is easily identified by the straight flash hider that is now integral with the barrel and not part of a barrel shroud. The NB model reduced the unloaded weight from the original 7.24 kilos, or 16 pounds, to 5.4 kilos, or 12 pounds, a 4 pound reduction in weight, which is quite significant. However, this weight reduction and the use of materials of lower cost than the original trial guns caused reliability issues with the Amelian service. Parts breakages and stoppages plagued the Amelian service and it relied on gunners taking great care of their weapons to keep them serviceable. One issue was that the forward barrel shroud was a press fit over the receiver and held in place by steel barbs. Rough handling and downward pressure on the bipod during manoeuvres and firing caused the shroud to deflect this caused accuracy and functionality issues. To alleviate these problems, the Spanish Marine Corps went so far as to TIG weld the forward barrel shroud to the receiver. This fixed most of their issues. The Amelia is an automatic weapon that externally resembles the MG42 machine gun of World War II and its post-war variant, the MG3. However, unlike the MG42's roller-locked short recoil operating system, where the barrel and bolt recoil together locked a short distance before unlocking, 
the Amelia uses the delayed blowback method of operation with a fixed barrel and a pair of rollers which retard the rearward movement of the bolt. This mechanism was employed in Sempme's Model A, B, C and L series of rifles and also in the Hecklencock G3 battle rifles and HK33 assault rifles as well as the infamous MP5 series of submachine guns. Similarities with the Sempme Model C and Model L rifles are limited to the commonality of takedown pins and no other parts, contrary to popular belief, actually fit. The Amelia was sold only to a few operators apart from the Spanish military. The Mexican Army and the Malaysian Pascal Naval Special Forces have used the Amelia, but the current status with those operators is unknown. In Spanish service, the Amelie has almost entirely been withdrawn from service, being replaced with the Hecklen Koch MG4 5.56 light machine gun. This is partly due to reliability issues and the original guns being worn out and no spares or new guns being available as the original manufacturer ceased manufacturing in 2003 and went out of business. The Amelia is an interesting machine gun that should have had more success than it did. The story of the Amelia reminds me of the original Armalite AR-10 rifle, which was produced by artilleries in Rechten in the Netherlands in the late 50s and early 60s, insomuch as the Amelia was produced in very limited numbers, probably only three to 4,000 machine guns, in various models and variants, with no clear defined history as to why aspects of the design were changed. Evidence of this was seen when a very good contact of mine bought up all remaining inventory from Setme when the factory closed some years ago, including around 30 Amelies. Apparently there were variations between every single one they bought, and they weren't prototypes. In the final years of service, the Setme was fitted with uh, a mounting block on the top feed cover, uh, which then took an optical sight which was actually the uh, British Avimo manufactured Susat scope, the same scope as fitted to the L85 in British service but with a slightly different mount called a Muller mount. Uh, this is actually a slightly better mount than the original one on the L85 uh, and the optics are quite good especially for uh, a light machine gun or a weapon used in close quarters where a wide f angle of view is required. Like I say, now the Amelie is almost entirely out of service in Spanish use and where the ones that were sold to Mexico and Malaysia are, even if they are being used, is unknown. As you can see, the rear sight is offset to the right, which seems to be strange. Here's the ranging discs, and here's the front sight, which is in a small housing next to the magazine. So it's quite a short sight base, but a very clever system. Very few were ever made. I don't think very many ever were fielded, possibly only in trials. Very privileged chance for us to get to see a factory cutaway in this very quick video. I hope you've enjoyed this. My name is Vic. This is the Armourers Bench. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and support us on Patreon. See you soon.